Makes no sense. Ah, that is gorgeous. Good morning, beautiful people. That's not my thing, but if you guys watch the haulers, Meg, Ben, you guys are awesome. Thanks for starting every video like that. I can't do it now because you do it. I just thought it was really cool. I wanted to do it once. So thank you. If you guys don't know who that is, the Holler Homestead, go check them out. Give them a subscribe. They're legit awesome. All right, what we're doing today is we're doing a turn and burn. So what I call a feed everybody, let everybody out. Quick eye check to make sure, not an eye check on them, me visually checking them, make sure nobody's sick limping walking trying to poop themselves to death as goats do and then we got to get out of here uh, i'll explain a little further but we have to drive about a five hour round trip to pick up soaping supplies because the prices have just gotten so astronomical for all of our raw materials and we're a little tiny business trying to hold a nice price for you guys and we had to raise our price once this year and i don't want to do that again we run a lot of numbers, we do a lot of math. Yeah, you can get out, baby. And it's actually cheaper at this point. We have found a lot of solutions that allowed us to do some online orders to keep our prices down. But now we're at a point where it's cheaper at $4 a gallon of gas here in Ohio to drive five hours to pick up raw materials. That's what we're gonna do today. Right after I get everyone fed. I need a plus one. Hello, baby. There you go. Most my special little boy boy. That's for you. Oh, hello, sheep. You tried to kill me. As always, water check full. Boys, you have two buckets. Yup, and it's frozen. Awesome, eat those leaves, they're good. What? Oh, we're doing the lip thing? It's a little early for that. So this involves basically tail up, looking good. Everybody's tails up, everybody's looking good. Nobody has poop on them. They're trying to poop themselves to death. The boys are rowdy. Hi sheep, hi goats. So it's basically just a visual check. All right, I gotta kick you girls out. No, I don't. And now I'm just gonna fling open all the gates. Except for this one, I don't want everybody in there. They'll eat every bit of that hay if they let the whole herd in there. Come on, girls. Don't be over there messing, Momo. Yeah, I dare you to run up in there, you bunch of chickens. Yeah, I know. That'll be the first one who wants to die first, because you know Mama in there's gonna bash you. Well, Custard will go in there. Yeah, she's a great one. She's not afraid to take a beating. Okay, double check that I opened all the stalls. The stalls that I didn't open doesn't have a goat in it. Gonna do a water drop. Well, why are you trying to kill me? You okay? All right, well, don't walk in front of us. Yeah, well, don't walk in front of someone when they're walking. Yo, weenie, bye. No, you can't come out. I'm not even gonna try this with chickens and rabbits. I'm in and out of there so fast. Our Siberian Husky, her name is Pishka. She's developed some sort of, it's either an internal hip issue or an external skin issue. She's been kind of not necessarily limping, but kicking and messing with her back right leg. I thought she had injured her hip. She's 10 years old, you know, for the Siberian Huskies, getting up there and they have hip issues anyway. I got her to sneak into the vet today. So I'm gonna try to run her up there. I'm not gonna try, I'm gonna run her up there and get her looked at. I'll show you that in a minute. All right, y'all, there's Miss Pishka. Hi, baby. Now, this is not unusual for her. She has never liked riding in cars. She always either lays on the seat or sits up on her butt weird. <laughs> Even though she's not feeling well, and I can tell, this is how she acts in the car. Excuse me. Look, for once, it's not about you, Nux. It's not about you, Nux. So, our little lady here. Potentially just that. So we have um, Carprofen, which is Novox, which is basically an arthritis slash pain med, if I remember correctly. And then we have some antibacterial topical pain med for the spot. I'll show you in a second. I'm gonna get this pill in her first. I know, baby, I know.
Oh, so we got half of those, half of one of those twice a day for 40 days. And then we'll give her a look. So there's her spot. We kind of shaved it up for us. I don't know if she's having the hip pain. And so she was licking the outside to kind of soothe the pain. But she basically licked it raw right there. So we're gonna do some antibac slash topical pain relief. They did shave this, so it, it looks worse than it, than it was. It doesn't look worse than it was. It, it was. it was pretty bad, but they shaved it so they could get a good look at it. And also so we could apply that for her. All right, bye. You guys remember Fuzz, the Fuzzarian, Mr. Cinnabit? He jumped off of something when he was a babe and broke both of his front knees. And now he's living the life, hanging out with some friends and his mama spoils him like you would not believe spoiled spoiled little brat okay guys so that's basically that i think she'll be fine essentially he said just some old age stiffness and joints lack of mobility in her joints it doesn't help that we have all hardwood floors so it's a little harder for her to walk i don't know what we can do about that we might get some runners maybe some area rugs that she can hang out on and walk on to keep her keep her feet from slipping out from under her a little bit other than that uh, we're about to do road trip, road trip. But when things come up, you know, like I'm glad they could get her in this morning. They're amazing. Bailey Veterinary Services. You guys rock. Foster Anderson, you're the man. Good luck at your uh, conference. And that is all. See you guys on the road. That's the face I'm getting right now. We're leaving. Buck Apothecary. Here we come, I guess. In the next light, turn right. We're in Aurora, Ohio. Uh, where SeaWorld used to be, just in case you ever remember that, if you're old enough to remember SeaWorld in Ohio. Yes, last time we were concerned about. We're gonna do tactical parking because I think we're just gonna have to pull back out and get right back in. I am not gonna try to record when we go in and ask for our stuff, but I'll record us looting. How about that? I love your sweater. Yeah. Do you watch? Do you watch YouTube? Uh, we have a YouTube channel okay. where we raise Nigerian dwarf goats. My older, Joey probably knows she has goats. She's yeah, uh, Zion Creek Farm, D-I-O-N, Zion okay. Creek Farm. Okay, all right. Um, is that a GoPro? Yes, ma'am. Hey. Can you want to be on my YouTube channel? Yeah. What's your name? Adriana. <laughs> Adriana has been fabulous. Oh, she already offered me a bucket <laughs> of oil for an awesome price. And what's your name, man? Uh, Todd. Todd? Okay, I'm not gonna take the camera in, but I'm buying another bucket of coconut oil because it's like half price and she is awesome. Well, we should have been home long ago before dark. These are coconut oil, eight 35 pound tubs of coconut oil and three 50 pound boxes of sodium hydroxide, AKA lye. Uh, we should have been home long ago. Anyway, on the way home, I, I don't even know what happened. By the time we got there, they were cleaning up the gravel. I don't know if a gravel truck like got into an accident or flipped over or whatever, but it was just gravel all over the interstate. So they was down to one lane and it was just rush hour traffic and it's just a nightmare going through there every time they're always under construction right through downtown it's just it's a pain but there's no way around it and then we got almost home and they had all the traffic on our interstate which is interstate 70 they had all that down to one lane for no apparent reason when we got up there there was nothing there was no i don't know i think they were setting up for construction but anyway this little short trip saved us almost 300 dollars just in shipping if we got the ship from them it would have been a freight shipment and oh gosh i don't remember what it was it was a lot on top of that the savings to go to bulk apothecary um We've been sourcing, we like to use the same coconut oils and the same olive oils, so we get the same result. Unfortunately, the prices, olive oil has gone up about 50%, lye has gone up about 50%, and coconut oil has gone up about 30%. We run math on numbers all the time, and it comes down to how can we get it the cheapest so we can continue to not increase the price of our soap, because we'll just go out of business. If we have to increase our price again, we, we won't sell anything, and then we won't, it'll just, we'll just be done. The Lovely H is a wizard at finding things on the cheap, and we don't like driving. It's a five hour round trip. So two and a half hours each way, plus pickup. Plus we usually stop and grab something to eat. Of course we wouldn't have to do that. Save, you know, 15 bucks. But doing the math, it was it was close to $300 shipping if we bought all this and had it shipped. And we spent about $100 total in gas. 
gas and food. That doesn't count time. Um, and since we were there, this bucket was damaged. I think somebody like crashed into it with a forklift or something. You can see it's dented, but it's just coconut oil and it's soft solid. So it, it just shapes with the bucket. So we got that half price, Bulk Apothecary. If anybody's listening, this girl right here. What's your name? Adriana. Adriana has been fabulous. What's your name? Adriana. Adriana has been fabulous. It should continue to be the face of your business to your customer in that pickup area. She is amazing. There were three other people there. Todd, amazing, helped me load, no problem. And there were a couple other people one on the forklift and one girl that was off to the side. Super nice, all of them. Cause I gotta tell you, last time we, we came up there, the lady was kind of short, a little bit rude. And when I pulled up, she pushed the pallet out and she said, I don't load, kind of walked off. So I loaded my truck and we left. So thank you for being you today. You were amazing. You would make us want to come back, no problem. Other than that guys, that's the end of this segment. That's a haul. <laughs> so Friday night continues, or Friday continues. So we have a show tomorrow, one of our bigger shows. It is at the Watkins Memorial High School. Is it called anything or just the Watkins, Watkins Memorial Craft Bazaar? The lady knows everything. Don't mind my mess back there. There's soap stuff, there's stuff stuff. What do we start out with? Turn and burn on goats, took a dog to the vet, drove and got the soap supplies. And now I have soaps to wrap because I forgot. <sighs> So I think some of you guys have already seen me do this, but I don't know. We were just talking about how many thousands of bars that I've wrapped sitting right here. Many, many, many thousands. Momanda, yes. I know you liked this. This is a banana hammock. No, we can't say that. This is a banana holder or banana stand, banana hanger. I just wrap my string around that a couple times so it feeds and then it pulls right through there like that. It's a nice little guide. You guys are always asking me what we do with our cut ends. So there's the cut ends, stacked in threes. And I'm gonna wrap those up in a minute. Don't mind my mess again, it's been a long day. So we stack those up in threes. We just do like the little variety pack, mix them up so you get a little bit of everything. And then we'll wrap those. So we don't list these on Etsy because I would have to list every ingredient in every single batch of every bar of soap. I could probably do it one time and it would be fine. But on the other hand, we stockpile these when we make soap and it takes, you know, this is one, one batch of soap. It takes weeks to build up a quantity that we can actually take to shows. If they're on Etsy, they would be on, they would be in inventory, out of inventory. They'd be available, not available all the time. It'd just be a nightmare. I'm so sorry they're not on Etsy, but we do sell them at shows for those of you guys that are local and they go really fast. People love them. I mean, they're usually what first thing sold pretty quickly. They they go. So that's those. I'll show you how I wrap those. They're a pain in the butt to wrap, but people love them. So we do it. It also keeps anything from going to waste. You just got to get them. You got to get them really, really tight or they, they'll move around in there. So that's it for the wrapping. I'm not gonna <laughs> make you watch me wrap all 20 of these, but same thing with tying it. I just have to make sure the string is really tight. Finished. So that is a men's, a citrus, and a lavender. For you noobs, this is a galaxy, kiss of Irish, and a pear. So each pack is a little different. Galaxy, queen of hearts, eucalyptus mint. All right, y'all. 6 a.m. I was supposed to be up at 5.30. I didn't set my alarm for the right time. It's Saturday morning. I was gonna take you guys around for early morning craft show day. As you can see, it is, as usual, pitch black. But I'm gonna leave you in the truck. I'll come back. I'll throw all my boxes, all my load up stuff, all my soap, tables, chairs, blah, blah, blah. So I gotta go. I'm running behind. I'm 30 minutes late. I should have been up at 5.30. <sighs> Anyway, that's load up except for the bits and bits, cash box, uh, iPad, all the small stuff. I mean, I've, I've been loading this truck for three years doing this, kind of have it down to a science. <laughs> We've changed a few things when I started. These were all 
cardboard boxes that I had everything smudged in little piles and different sizes and shapes of all kinds of boxes. It was terrible. And we got it pretty tight. Keep it pretty tight. Uh, as few boxes as possible, as few items as possible. Inside shows are amazingly easy because no tent, no weights, no big cart. So I can drag stuff across a field or down a gravel road. This is just roll up to the door, throw everything on the cart and run inside, dump it off, go park. All right, I'll bring you back. All right, y'all, we already unloaded. I wouldn't show you that, but the lovely H is with me and I don't wanna have to try to blur her out of everything. It's too challenging. This is easy peasy, literally all pavement and sidewalks. We were kind of chuckling. It's a uh, five hour show inside. <laughs> You guys, uh, some of you know, like some of you feel my pain in the summer when it's a three 12 hour days in a row and it's dragging your stuff across a field or through a gravel parking lot. The sun's baking you, the wind is blasting you, you're getting rained on to roll up on. I mean, we were set up in like 10 minutes, but one, this is like show 35 or 32. 33 like a well-oiled machine at this point however when you roll up and it pavement and sidewalks and it's smooth sailing you throw everything on the cart drag it inside unload it you set up so fast people are like where'd that guy come from well that's what we do <laughs> just chuckling this morning this is feeling like it's going to be a breeze five hours of selling maybe 30 minutes of setup and teardown combined and then uh we're out but this is a really good show uh, lots of people will be here unfortunately the biggest problem might be that there is a buckeye football game today Ohio State Buckeyes. People around here in Ohio are legit fans. I don't watch football, but that football game is at noon today and the show doesn't end until three. Sometimes that will hurt your show. People will just go home and watch the football game instead of coming to a craft show. So, all right, I'm almost at my table. The lovely is over there putting soap on the table. I'll show you guys the rest when we get set up. Actually, I'll just buzz you around now. There's not a lot of excitement happening. The gymnasium and it is huge all these spaces will be filled you can see the lines on the floor the marks on the floor so this will all be filled in there's a couple hundred vendors here i can't remember the, the number i think it's close to 200. it's a destination it's i'll get it wrong i don't know how many years hey how many years has this been going on she don't know either like 35. So I, I think it might even be over 40. At this point. oh over 40 potentially Maybe. at this point we don't know we're making stuff up that's what a we do long long time isn't very 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 long time is this our third year? it's our third year yep Yep, third year here. We've done very well both times we've been here. Like I said, the football game being at noon might hinder sales. Go Don't go box. Yes, she's a huge football fan, and yes, the Buckeyes. Anywho, I don't know, I'll just buzz you guys around real quick. Cause she's just setting up soap. She doesn't need me. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Jose Madrid is everywhere today. We've seen Jose Madrid everywhere this year. Hoodies, clothes. It's kind of a weird setup. You go down this aisle right here, but then you just walk into the stage. You can't exactly. Oh, those are cute candles. Yeah, you come down this row and then you, you kind of dead in, so it's kind of weird that way. Anyway, I guess I'll show you guys. So we're over there, right there, and you come in over there. So you walk around right across the front of our table first on the other table. And that's pretty awesome. They also sell a, a couple hundred, uh, what they call VIP tickets. You pay a bit more, I think it's like 10 bucks to get a VIP ticket. And that allows you one hour of early bird shopping with just you and the other 100 people. I think last year it was 100. And in this space, this space is massive, guys. It doesn't feel like it on camera. This space is massive. Uh, they let 100 people in last year and it felt like there was nobody here. So hopefully they've increased it this year. Oh, I got my, I dream of goats and pizza shirt on today because those are my two favorite things in life. Okay, next to H. Anyway, guys. Uh, that's it. I'm not going to show any selling. All right. So we'll see you after the show.